Learn with Peppa Pig. Maps. Today we are going to learn about maps and how to use them to find our way around. Yippee! <laughs> a map is a drawing that shows a place and it can help us get from one place to another. Grandpa Pig has buried some treasure. Bags. And Granny Pig has drawn a map to help them find it. Shall we help Pepper and George use Granny Pig's map to find the treasure? Great, let's go. <laughs> Here we are at Pepper's house. Shall we look at the map to see which way we should go first? Look, the beach is closest to Pepper's house, so let's try there first. Maybe we'll find the treasure there. The beach is below Pepper's house, so we'll have to go this way to get there. Off we go! Well done, you've arrived at the beach. What a lovely warm and sunny day. Better put on our sun cream. No time to play though, Daddy Pig. There's treasure to be found. Can you see it here? No, I can't either. Oh well, let's check the map to see where we should go next. We're here at the beach. Look, there's the forest. Let's try there next. The forest is at the top of the map. That means we need to go this way and then right to get to it. Have we packed our bags? Off we go again then! <laughs> We've made it to the forest. Wow, look at all these trees. Maybe this sign will tell us where the treasure is. No, nope, still no sign of the treasure. Better check the map again. Here we are in the forest. It looks like we should try the castle next. Look, can you see on the map that we need to go right to get to it? Well done! Off we go again! Yippee! <laughs> Here we are at the castle. It's very tall, isn't it? Look at that flag at the top. Maybe that's where the treasure is. Come on, let's go in and see if we can find it. Well. Can you see the treasure? No, it's not here either, is it? Where could it be? We'd better look at the map again. Here we are at the castle. Where haven't we been yet? Yes, Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. There it is on the map, over to the left of the castle. Look, there it is, over there. Come on, off we go again. Yippee! <laughs> Hurrah, we made it. Here we are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. The treasure must be here. Let's try this spot. Keep digging, Daddy Pig. Hooray, there it is, the treasure. We did it. That was a really fun treasure hunt. You just learned what a map is and how to use it to find your way. Well done! Why don't you have a go at hiding your own treasure and drawing a map to find it? Happy treasure hunting! That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Families. Today we are going to learn about Pepper and her family. Shall we start? Let's go! Yippee! <laughs> this is Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa. And in Peppa's family is George. Hello, George. George is Peppa's brother. That means Peppa is George's sister. Brothers and sisters are called siblings. Pepper and George spend lots of time together playing and having fun. Shall we meet some more of Pepper's family? Great! <laughs> 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 
Who is this? Yes, it is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. Mummy and Daddy Pig are Pepper and George's parents. Pepper and George are Mummy and Daddy Pig's children. George is Mummy and Daddy Pig's son, and Pepper is Mummy and Daddy Pig's daughter. They live together in Pepper's house. Pepper and her family love each other very much. Let's meet more of Pepper's family. Yippee! <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Granny Pig. Granny and Grandpa Pig are Mummy Pig's parents. Just like Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are Pepper and George's parents. Granny and Grandpa Pig are Pepper and George's grandparents. That means Pepper and George are Granny and Grandpa Pig's grandchildren. Good job. Ready to look at some more of Pepper's family? <laughs> Hello, Uncle and Auntie Pig. Uncle Pig lives with Auntie Pig. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig are brothers. They are Uncle and Auntie Pig to Pepper and George. Uncle and Auntie Pig also have children. Shall we find out who they are? Yippee! Here are Cousin Chloe and her brother, Baby Alexander. They are Auntie and Uncle Pig's children. Cousin Chloe and Baby Alexander are cousins to Pepper and George. Well done. That was some great learning about Pepper's family. Shall we take a little dance break? Yippee! Ready? <laughs> Let's go! Why don't you dance with someone in your family? Great dancing! That was fun. Now, back to the learning. Yippee! <laughs> Pepper is George's sister and George is Pepper's brother. Can you remember what brothers and sisters are called? That's right, brothers and sisters are called siblings. And who are Pepper and George's parents? <laughs> Pepper and George's parents are Mummy and Daddy Pig. Well done. Mummy Pig also has parents. Do you know who they are? That's right. Granny and Grandpa Pig are Mummy Pig's parents. That means they are Pepper and George's grandparents. Daddy Pig has a brother. Do you know who he is? That's right, Uncle Pig is Daddy Pig's brother. Uncle Pig lives with Auntie Pig and they have two children. Can you remember their names? Good job, they are Cousin Chloe and Baby Alexander. Cousin Chloe and Baby Alexander are Pepper and George's cousins. Well done, you did it. You just learned about Pepper and George's family. Why don't you have a go naming some people in your own family? That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig, community helpers. Today we are going to look at different jobs that people do to help others. Yippee! <laughs> Pepper is having fun at her playgroup today. Look, here's Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle is a teacher. She works at the playgroup and helps Pepper and her friends learn by teaching them lots of different things. Pepper and her friends love learning and they love Madame Gazelle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Is there someone you know, like Madame Gazelle, who teaches you lots of new things? <laughs> Daddy Pig is having a barbecue. 
But it's on fire. Don't worry, here comes Miss Rabbit to the rescue. Miss Rabbit is a firefighter. Firefighters help to put out fires and rescue people. Miss Rabbit wears a special uniform to protect her from the fires and drives a fire engine with a very loud siren. The fire engine has a long hose which puts out the fire with water. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Great firefighting. Yippee! <laughs> oh dear, Pepper is not feeling very well today, so she's staying in bed. But not to worry, Dr. Brown Bear has come to see her. A doctor helps us get better when we're not feeling very well. Sometimes they give us medicine to help make us better. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Yippee! <laughs> Pepper and her family are visiting the dentist. Hello, Dr. Elephant. <laughs> A dentist is a type of doctor who helps us look after our teeth. Open wide. <laughs> oh. Well done, George. Thank you, Dr. Elephant. It's good to see your dentist regularly to make sure your teeth stay healthy. Police Officer Panda is teaching Pepper and her friends to cross the road safely. A police officer helps to keep us safe. They wear uniforms so you can recognize them if you need to ask for help. They drive a police car with a blue flashing light on the top. Nino, Nino! Thank you, Police Officer Panda. Goodness me, what is all that noise? Oh, it's Mr. Bull. Mr. Bull and his team are digging up the road to make a new one. They are construction workers. Construction workers help make our buildings and roads. They use big diggers and rollers to help them do their work. Sometimes it can be a little bit noisy. Thank you, Mr. Bull. <laughs> now you've learned about some of the jobs people do that help others. They are all different from one another, but help in different ways. There are teachers who help others to learn about new things. There are firefighters who help to put out fires and rescue people. There are doctors who help us get better when we're not feeling well. And dentists who help us keep our teeth healthy. There are police officers who help to keep others safe. And construction workers who help to make our roads and buildings. Perhaps you've met some people who do these jobs already. Why don't you look out for them? Great work. Learn with Peppa Pig, keeping clean. Today we're going to learn about all the fun ways we can keep ourselves clean. Are you ready? Yippee! Good morning, Peppa. Good morning, George. Peppa and George are brushing their teeth. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, brush them all about. Oh. Brush them squeaky clean, then rinse and spit it out. Brush in little circles for two minutes a day. Then we brush, brush, brush at night to clean them once again. Hooray! It's important to brush our teeth twice a day. Once in the morning and once at night before we go to bed. You get your toothbrush, put some toothpaste on it and brush your teeth up and down and round and round. Gently though, not too hard. Why do you think it's important to brush our teeth? It keeps them strong and healthy. And it keeps your breath nice and fresh. If we don't look after our teeth, they can become very sore. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a lovely, healthy smile, George. What else should we do to keep ourselves clean? <laughs> now we must wash our hands to keep the germs away. Wash, wash, wash again every single day. Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit are at the petting farm. They're washing their hands before they touch the animals. First, they put some soap on their hands ah. and then some water. Then they rub them together to get them nice and clean. Rub-a-dub-dub, scrub-scrub-scrub. -dub -scrub. What good hand washing, everyone. Why do you think we should wash our hands? Well, we wash our hands to stop spreading germs, as germs can make us unwell. And when should we wash our hands? After touching an animal or pet. Before and after eating or making food. If you're poorly or have a cough or cold. After you've been to the toilet. Or if you've changed a dirty nappy. We should wash our hands lots of times throughout the day. But that's not the only thing we should wash. Pepper and Susie have got very messy, so they're having a bath to get nice and clean. <laughs> having a bath is lots of fun, especially when there are lots of bubbles. Splish, splash, splosh. Do you like to have a bath? Having a bath helps us stay clean and smelling fresh. It also helps us to not get ill by washing off all the dirt and germs. It can also be really, really fun. Well done. You've just learned all about why it's important to brush your teeth, wash your hands and have a bath. And now you know how to stay squeaky clean. Learn with Peppa Pig, getting active. Today we're going to be moving our bodies and getting active. I hope you're ready. Let's go! Yippee! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are taking baby Alexander for a walk. Peppa is teaching him how to clap. That's it, baby Alexander. Both hands together now. Clap, clap, clap. Can you clap your hands? Why don't you have a go? That's it. Clap, clap, clap. Good work. You're very good at clapping your hands together. Shall we do another movement? Yippee! <laughs> oh, look. Grampy Rabbit is teaching an exercise class today. Pedro Pony is having lots of fun stomping his feet. Right, left, right, left, stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you stomp your feet like Pedro Pony? Why don't you have a go? Up, down, up, down, stomp, stomp, stomp. Well done. Great stomping. Pepper and her friends are showing baby Alexander how they like to spin around. Whee! Whee! Nice spinning, George. Whoops, never mind. Why don't you have a go at spinning around? Careful now, don't get too dizzy. Well done. It's a lot of fun spinning around, isn't it? Yippee! <laughs> On your marks, get set, go! Pepper and her friends are having a hopping race. Can you see how they are hopping on one foot? Oops, it's quite hard, isn't it? 
Would you like a go? Hop, hop, hop. Well done. Now have a go on the other leg. Hop, hop, hop. Nice work. Great hopping. think Pepper and her friends are doing here. Would you like a clue? It's something Pepper loves to do in a muddy puddle. That's right. Pepper is jumping with all her friends. Shall we see some of your jumping? Off you go. Jump, 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 jump up in the air. Fantastic. What brilliant jumping. Well done. You've been very active today and learned lots of different movements. Which is your favourite one? Is it clapping your hands? Stomping your feet? Spinning around? Hopping on one foot? Or jumping up and down? Or perhaps you like doing all of them. Shall we play one more time? Ready? And... Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. Spin around. Hop on one foot. And jump up and down. Well done. You did it. Learn with Peppa Pig, living things. Today we are going to learn all about living things. Do you know what a living thing is? Shall we find out? Yippee! Let's go! <laughs> Madame Gazelle is on holiday, so Peppa and her family are looking after her pet guinea pigs, Ginger and Brian. Peppa and her family need to brush them and make sure they don't get lonely. But most importantly, they need to make sure they have enough food and water. That's because they are living things. Living things are alive, like you and me. There are lots of different types of living things, not just guinea pigs. Chicks are living things. A strawberry plant is a living thing. Goldie the goldfish is also a living thing. They're all different, but they all do several things the same that make them living things. Yippee! Shall we find out what those things are? <laughs> Pepper and her family are eating their dinner. Living things need to eat. Look at these chickens eating their corn. They are living things too. And what about this rock? Does it need to eat? No, it doesn't. So, a rock is not a living thing. Pepper and Emily Elephant are learning to snorkel. They are practicing taking long, deep breaths. In and out. In and out. Living things need to breathe. Goldie the goldfish also breathes, but she breathes underwater. Isn't that clever? And what about this bus? It moves and makes a noise with its engine, but it doesn't breathe, so it's not a living thing. Shall we see what else living things do? Daddy Pig is trying to feed Baby Alexander. Baby Alexander is very small at the moment, but he'll get bigger, like Pepper and George. Then he'll grow even bigger, like Mummy and Daddy Pig. That's because living things grow. Look at Grandpa Pig's apple trees. They are living things too. The tree starts off small, and then it grows into a bigger tree with apples. Shall we look at something that doesn't grow? How about Peppa's house? Do you think it grows? No, Pepper's house doesn't grow, so it's not a living thing. 
Yippee! Good work. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit is driving Mummy Rabbit to the hospital because she is having a baby. And here they are, two little baby rabbits. Oh, how sweet. Shall we look at some more babies? Here are some chickens. Look, they've laid their eggs. Ooh, what's that? A little chick. The mummy chick laid an egg and out popped the baby chick. George is having a chocolate cake for his birthday party. Yum, yum. Do you think the cake is a living thing? No, George's birthday cake doesn't have baby chocolate cakes, so it's not a living thing. Yippee! <laughs> Look, Adam Gazelle is hosting a game. Shall we play our own game? In this game, we'll spot the living thing. Yippee! Ready? Let's go. <laughs> living things eat. Which of these two things eat? The chickens? Or the rock? That's right. The chickens eat and the rock doesn't. The chickens are the living things. Living things need to breathe. Which one of these two things breathe? Is it the yellow bus? Or Emily Elephant? Well done. It is Emily Elephant. Emily Elephant is the living thing. Living things grow. Which of these two things grow? Grandpa Pig's apple tree? Or Peppa's house? Yes, of course, it's Grandpa Pig's apple tree. The apple tree is the living thing. And finally, living things have babies. Which of these two things have babies? Is it George's birthday cake? Or Mummy Rabbit? Great work! It is Mummy Rabbit. Mummy Rabbit is the living thing. You've just learned about living things and what they do. Well done! <laughs>